Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here with Antonelli Softball. Today, we're looking at some more swing mechanics. I want to talk some more about upper body mechanics. I want to talk about bat path. I want to talk about getting to this ball right here, which is up, right? It's a little bit up in the zone. And absolutely blasting this ball for a huge home run in this past year's World Series. So when we talk about upper body mechanics, we talk about a couple things. The big thing is, and the first thing I really look for when I'm looking at, at hitters, is I'm looking at path. I'm looking at bat path. What does the bat do to and through the hitting zone? And the, the keys that we talk about is we want to turn the barrel up into the ball. We want to get the barrel behind the ball early. I want to get in the zone early. If I can do all those things, well then I'm going to be able to impact the ball squarely. I'm going to be able to hit it with really good ball flight. I'm going to be able to attack from the inside. And so I'm going to have really good direction. I can cover the entire plate, but I can also be quick, short, quick, and powerful. All right. All really, really important parts and characteristics of the swing. And, you know, I'm around a lot of softball training. I talk with a lot of hitters, I see a lot of coaches, I talk to a lot of parents, and a lot of times the coaching that I see is a little bit different. And most softball players, especially at young levels, have different thoughts. They think about swinging down to the ball. They think about staying above the ball. They think about getting on top of the ball. And when I watch, you know, I study the best hitters in the world. I watch the World Series every year. I'm really into how do the best hitters, how do the top hitters swing the bat? And are they doing what is being taught at younger levels? And the answer is usually no. So let's get to a side view here for a second. I just wanted to show you this front view to see how short and, and from the inside this swing is. So when we watch this, this front view, a couple things you're going to see. One, you're going to see a pretty pronounced tilt back. And so when we're talking about the upper body, when we're talking about, you know, above the waist, what I see a lot of hitters do, a lot of young hitters especially, is their upper body either turns hard to the left as a right-handed hitter or to the right as a left-handed hitter, or they go forward. When I pull hard to the left, my barrel gets out away from me and then cuts across. You've probably seen it a bunch of times, right? How many times have you heard... Stop pulling your shoulder out. Keep your shoulder in there. Stop pulling off the ball. Keep your head down. Right? You'll see that move a lot. The shoulder just whips to the left. Or they go forward. And they get out in front. But what you're going to see with the best hitters is you're going to see their upper body start to tilt back. So it's more of a north-south move, not an east-to-west, not a pull hard to the left. I'm trying to get my upper body to get back behind this leg. When I'm able to do that, I'm able to create some stretch in the swing. If you think about an elastic, put an elastic around your thumb. All right, so let's say, here's your thumb. You're going to put an elastic around it, and you're going to pull it back. So you're going to take that those two points of the elastic, and you're going to, here's the elastic, you're going to stretch them apart from each other. You're going to pull... You're going to pull back on this side. You're going to push forward with your thumb on that side. And you're going to create stretch in that elastic band. Same thing with the swing. Your leg's going to go like this. Your upper body's going to go like this. Your barrel's going to go like this. You're going to create stretch within your body. And then the barrel's going to get whipped into the ball. So my leg starts to turn. My upper body tilts back. And I try to get palm up, palm down. I try to get the knob turned up deep. I don't want to go down and out with the knob because then the barrel is going to go down and out. And then I'm getting it in the zone really late and I'm not going to get turned up into the ball. If I start to feel like I'm going to tilt back, I'm going to get my knob turned up, then the barrel will go back and down and turn up into the ball. The barrel's always going to follow the knob. So I've got to control the knob and I have to get the knob to start working up. 
So if I have hitters that are really struggling to do this, right, I get a, a hitter that hasn't worked with me before and they're used to just kind of throwing their arms and their hands out at the ball. I tell them, I want to try to get the knob up before you ever go forward. Get the knob turned up. Feel it in your hands. Try to get the top hand palm up and the bottom hand palm down. And that starts to turn the knob up. The barrel can go back down this way. We talk about getting the barrel to go rearward. A lot of people talk about getting the barrel to go forward. Right? People get so nervous that they talk about softball. Oh, softball. We don't have a whole lot of time, right? Pitcher's really close to hitter. I've got to go out and get that ball. That's the worst way to try to get to the ball quickly. I'm going to push the bat, which is going to be basically dominant from my, dominated by my upper body, so it's going to be slower. My body's not going to work as well together. There's not going to be any stretch. But then the ball's coming this way, and I'm going to try to go way out here and hit it way out here. Wouldn't it make more sense to turn my barrel deep? Now I have more space. If I'm going to push my barrel down and out, well, then I can only hit the ball way, way out here. But if I turn my barrel deep, I can hit the ball. I can hit it way back here if I wanted to. She's in the zone. She's behind the ball right now. Now she has more time. Look at how quick that is. So I want to try to get the knob turned up. And I want to tilt back. And now my barrel can work back and down and then turn up into the ball. It's a pretty good swing right there. So check out my other videos if you haven't seen them. I go really in-depth in different parts of the swing. Um, share this with as many people as you can. Try to help spread the word. I like to help as many people as possible. If you have not done so, subscribe to the channel. Click the little notification bell so that you get all of our new videos that come out. I know they'll help you out. Let me know if you have any other ideas. If you want me to make any other videos, put that in the comment section as well. And that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and we will talk to you later.